Hey, what's up, and welcome to Odd Drawing. Uh, grab something to draw with and something to draw on, and uh, today we're going to draw Chewbacca from Star Wars. Uh, this weekend was uh, May the 4th, uh, so may the 4th be with you, and um, also uh, Peter Mayhew, who played uh, Chewbacca, passed away, so I figured, hey, let's, uh, let's do a tribute to an awesome guy. And an awesome character. So we're going to start off with the head. And um, we're going to start off with the head here. And just kind of put that uh, together. We want to Now we're going to make some lines here for uh, his eyes and where his eyes should go. Right there. And then his nose is very close to his eye. And he's got a lot of animal... Um, animal features, a little mouth, kind of like a mogwai mouth, and then we're going to give him, a, he's got like a little beard, and then let's cut off some of this head, because he's got kind of a really high coney head, and boom, all right, so we got kind of the outline of his head, and where that goes, so let's go ahead and draw the rest of his body. So we'll bring down his shoulders. He's really tall and lanky, so we want to give him real long arms. There we go. And then I want to make him holding his crossbow. So let's bring his, he's kind of holder, holder, uh, holding his, uh, uh, holder. Uh, he's kind of hip holding his, sorry, I'm drawing. He's kind of hip holding his crossbow, which is a laser crossbow, which I don't understand. I don't know. Kind of a sci-fi Daryl Dixon uh, for those of you Walking Dead fans. So he's got kind of a real like a droopy um, hair on his arms. Let's bring down his legs. He's got real long, super long legs. And we'll just bring down his other leg here. And give him a stance. Because I don't want him just standing there. So, boom, kind of a stance. All right, so now we got kind of the uh, whole thing. And then, of course, he's got the, uh, like, satchel, like this uh, crossbody satchel with these uh, squares. So we want to make these squares, and they kind of get bigger towards the middle, and then they get smaller up at the top. And it's just a square, and then, like, a strap in between. And then um, let's go with his other arm. Just make it to where we can kind of see his other arm. And uh, yeah, so while we're doing this, let's put in some other, a couple of details here. I just want to thank you guys for coming in today. And uh, let's just start adding in details. And this is a way to start off your week. Um, you know, or even if it's midweek, you're watching it, or the weekend and you're watching this. You know, it's just good to get something done and to be positive about it. So let's darken up his eyes. And he's got these real like dark eyes, and then he's got these very, very emotional eyes that you can that that you can really see what's going on with with uh, old Chewbacca here. Um, and yeah, this is just positive motivation. This is just you know, um, if if I'm going too fast, you know, you can always rewind. Um, you know, whatever you're drawing with. You know, just try to, to you know, do your best job at it. And that's really what matters. And if by the time we're done, you're not 100% happy with it, you know what? Do the video again, you know, whenever you feel like it. And, uh, and yeah, you know, just do it so that you're happy with it. You know, practice makes perfect. This is my first time really drawing Chewbacca. Um, probably since I was a little kid, I haven't really drawn Chewbacca in a while. But I figured this was really super appropriate. Um, and I thought it would be fun. So he's got kind of a uh, kind of a beard that comes down in the middle. Um, he's got kind of a really cool, complex hair pattern. And what we really want to do is the lines that we make, we want to keep them um, in the direction of the hair pattern. So that this should really help you guys, anybody that has difficulty drawing hair. So see how I'm coming in kind of like curvy on the hair? So that's what I'm doing is I just want to bring it in kind of curvy and just give it that that dimension. You know, you don't really want to make a lot of straight lines um, 
with hair. You know, you want to keep it curvy to the shape, to the shape that you're that you're drawing and putting together, and that's really what's going to give it dimension and really going to give it um, like a three dimensional look. And so we're just going to keep coming in here, and we're just going to keep working that head and working that hair, and just we're going to keep kind of bringing it into the center. It all kind of comes into his nose and then comes out of his nose. And it comes in round, rounded circles. Now we're just going to bring it like that. So if you guys are drawing along with me and you guys get your drawings done and you want to post it on social media, please tag me. Um, and we can do a hashtag uh, odd drawing Chewbacca. And I will put that link at the bottom of the uh the video as well so let's go ahead we're just going to keep putting in hair now now that we've got chewbacca established pretty much what we're going to do is we're just going to be putting in hair um and we're just going to really work on that which once again if you guys have a uh, issue drawing hair or have had an issue drawing hair in the past um you know i think this is a really good tutorial to help you guys out um with just structuring the hair so we're going to clean up this belt a little bit real quick um before we get into um all the hair that because he's just like a big a big giant friendly shag carpet well i guess he's friendly if you're a rebel if not then i guess uh wookies pull arms off so wookies are pretty awesome um especially chewbacca i think chewbacca's got to be the most awesome of all of the Wookiees, I gotta say. So, let's see here. We're gonna add in some shading here and just kind of put some shading in. I don't really like the way this is looking too much with the cross hatching. So, let's put in some real big dark blacks because I love to put in some, some, uh, some real heavy blacks into, into my drawings. And, you know, if that's not your style, then that's cool. Um, you know, some people don't put any shading, but I like to put some heavy blacks in. And I think that that really gives it a nice, a nice shade, um, a nice uh, rounded uh, feature on the, uh, on the um, figure. It's going to really bring out all of these little details so we're going to bring it here uh, to kind of put in under his arm here and we're just going to add in some real nice heavy blacks and like i said these are real good for um you know helping the shape helping to find the shape helping to show where the shadows are and give it some realism all right so back to there so let's do a shoulder. See how we're doing just kind of a shoulder and we're just doing in lines and lines that are coming straight down there. And now that we're moving to his body, the lines are different. See, it's a different angle of his lines for the hair. And then let's clean this up and then let's go ahead and bring in his other arm. And we're going to do a little crease here. And then the hair, of course, is going to fall differently because it's at an angle facing towards us. And then here is his laser crossbow. It doesn't have any string to shoot the laser, but I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm not going to assume to know how it works, but it's fun. So once again, once you guys are done, uh, tag me online or and uh, use the, the uh, hashtag odd drawing Chewbacca. May the 4th be with you. All of this fun stuff. So let's add in some more heavy blacks here to really give it, um, make some stuff stand out, make it pop. Let's go in here underneath all of this stuff. And then really just give it some dimension. Boom. And then let's go under his arm here. Okay. And... All the way down to his legs because his arm's casting a big shadow and we want to have a big shadow and then let's go ahead and uh, do underneath this leg and this will push this leg a little bit further back so we won't do it on the other leg we'll just do it on this leg and that'll push that one back 
and we're getting pretty close. I'm glad you guys are doing this uh, drawing with me. I'm glad you're drawing along. It's so positive uh, for you guys to be doing this. Um, I'm glad to be able to draw with you today. And like I said, you know, draw it as many times as you want to until you're happy with it. That's the beauty of this is it doesn't have to be perfect. My drawing's not going to be perfect, It's but it's going to be Chewbacca. It's going to be fun. And maybe your style is different. And that's cool. You know, and that's awesome. That's really what it's about. It's about having fun. It's just about getting some drawing done. Um, these videos are just to A, help you guys learn a, a thing or two, but also to... Uh, you know, to help you get started, help you get motivated. That's why I like to put them out on Mondays. So every Monday I try to put out at least one video and get you guys started, get you guys really moving in here and then just drawing, just get that first drawing, get your hand warmed up. And then, uh, who knows, maybe we'll go on and you'll draw one of the greatest comic books, um, or pieces of art that's ever been known to human history. You know, and that would be awesome because you're a talented artist and, uh, you know, and, and the fact that you're here drawing with me today, you know, just shows that you're motivated and that you're having, you know, you're, you're really putting forth the effort and that's what matters more than anything is putting forth the effort. So let's see here. We're going to put in, we're adding in some white lines just to add some hair in there and this might not go exactly with the uh what, what we're gonna do next because i want to add some color and that white might pop off of the color but don't worry about it and if you're using like a pen or ink um like straight ink or crayon you can really go in there with white or if you have white out you can go in there and add your whites on there um you know whatever you want to do however you want to do it you know, you're drawing along with me, but it's going to have your flair to it. It's going to have all of your style in there. You, you know, it just is. All right, let's make him brown because Chewbacca is brown. So, boom, just like that. We have made Chewbacca brown. And then let's go ahead and do his little uh, crossbody strap here, which is kind of a darker brown. So, let's do a darker brown on his strap and boom nice got the darker strap there and then we got to put in the little silver pieces here so i'll just add in some of these these silver squares on the strap awesome and next one awesome and awesome and remember guys if you ever fall behind or whatever you need to whatever you can uh click back a couple of times or you can pause me and then come back however you want to do it um you know just to get it done and then his crossbow here is gold so we're gonna do that gold gold all right boom so now he's got that and then we'll just do just his eyes and his teeth and then that's the basic color. So, I mean, he's pretty simple to color, which is awesome and a lot of fun. And now we've got a pretty decent Chewbacca. But now let's clean it up because we always want to clean it up and make it as, as nice as we possibly can. So there's a couple parts here that aren't colored. So let's fill these in. I remember, guys, the more detail or the more work that you guys put into it, the better. And, you know, this is a fast drawing and it's for fun, and there's no pressure, it's just, uh, you know, a good time, but, you know, we always want to, if you see something wrong on your drawing, you want to fix it, you know, if you see something that you personally don't like, then, then fix it, and if you don't, and then somebody later on goes, hey, why didn't you do that, just say, hey, it's my art, that's, that's the way I did it, and so there, so there, boom, <laughs> all right, so now we've got kind of like your basic flat colors and everything on here. And I want to make him a little bit more, um, just a little bit more detailed. So let's go in here and I just want to add in a little bit of uh, like low lights and highlights on him. So we're just going to come in with like a kind of a grayish, a grayish brown kind of thing. And here we go. 
we're just going to come in here and we're just going to add once again add some dimension once again when you're adding this kind of stuff you just always want to go in the direction of those lines you want to make sure that you're not just going straight up and down or straight left and right you want to really add the colors in the uh form that it's uh you know that the shape is you know um because it's kind of rounded we're gonna do it kind of rounded we're going to bring it here underneath and then a little bit on his legs. And then, of course, we're going to follow the shadow a little bit to give him that, that cool depth. And, you know, it's always fun to layer colors um, rather than just, you know, have the one color. You can layer color and you can layer colors with anything from prisma colors to paints um, let's add some light colors and you can do this with crayons or prisma colors whatever however you're doing it however you're drawing along uh, if you're doing it on digital form like I am um, you know you can always do over and you just work it and work it and work it and you know that's what makes it fun so let's add our signature always add our signature and I always like to put the date you know the year at least so I'm gonna put 19 at the end of mine um, so you know that'd be cool too and then just uh go ahead and tag me guys and uh thanks for drawing along uh appreciate it have a great week odd man out